Hey everybody, today I want to talk to you about a little shortcut that I created because the record app on the iPad, which I use to take notes during a meeting, when you are playing it back, it does not continue playing once the iPad screen shuts off. So, like, let's say here's the, and I'm over here on the iPad now, voice memo app. If you record and it's, then you play back to listen to the notes, it will not uh, continue playing the playback if the screen has shut off all of a sudden. So what I did was create a shortcut to get to this screen very quickly. And we're gonna run the shortcut now to simply see it. It's in, um, once you go to display and brightness in settings, and then you get to um, this screen and you have to select which option you want. So instead of going to settings and then picking this particular um, screen, I simply created a shortcut to get you right to this screen. So now we're gonna go through how to build it. Um, so First, I would go to Shortcuts, and I'm going to get out of here because these are already built. So I'm going to say, um, build a new one, and hit the plus button right here, and then you're given the option to start building a shortcut. I'm going to give the shortcut uh, a name. I'm going to hit rename and say auto lock. Two. And there we have it done. And then I'm going to start building it. There's only two simple steps, but you have to, um, build them and have a specific URL in there. So here I have um, my dashboard to build the shortcut and I'm gonna go search for URL. Whoops, not J, U R L. And I'm gonna get here URL. and select this, and then type a specific URL that I have here for everybody. Um, I'll have this in the preferences. It's, pref and it's not a URL, I apologize. It is a command that we have to type in so this is gonna take me a while, but I will type it in. And here it is.
if on the hour. And then that's that, and we hit done again. And then the next action is open URL. And that's that. And then the uh, action should run. So let's try it out by hitting the play button. And there it is. It takes you right to the screen. And that's how I built this shortcut right here. Give it a cool little icon, and I'm not gonna go through that process in this video, but it enables me to quickly hit the uh, unlock uh, settings for the screen page. Um, it's a pretty cool shortcut, simple but uh, very useful. The only problem that I have with this shortcut is that there is no way to select the time interval that you want. Um, you still have to do that manually. So if uh, anybody knows of a way to select the time interval, uh, leave me a comment below. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share this video, and I will see you all in the next video.